Thank you, thank you. I want to thank the groups for their performances. Members, members of the 54th Legislature, Mr. Dean and members of the Cabinet, Madam Superintendent of Montserrat County, officials of government present, the executive director and team of the Liberia Agency for Economic Empowerment, the governor and officials of the borough of Newburytown, superintendent and members of the Marketing Association of Newburytown, the president and members of the Liberia Marketing Association, citizens of the borough of Newburytown, members of the fourth estate, ladies and gentlemen. I have the distinguished pleasure to introduce and invite to the podium for special remarks, His Excellency Dr. George Manawia, President of the Republic of Liberia. Estate, 
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me use the occasion to thank the government and people of Japan for this new project, the Guada Market project. I also want to thank our Honorable Percy Yeke, Director of Liz, and our contractor, Hassan Kubasi, for this uh, good initiatives and the hard work. The steward, ladies and gentlemen, just four days ago, last week Friday, I had the privilege to dedicate a new life construction 14 Bogachov Market in the Omega Village community in Peaceville. This modern facility is the largest and newest purpose built market ever constructed in Liberia. This was the result of a promise that I made to the hard members of the Liberia Marketing Association that I will build them adequate markets to shelter them from the sun and the rain as they sell their goods to the public. That was the promise made. And the dedication was a promise kept. On that occasion, I made a promise that we will also build a modern market building for the Guada community. And today, I am here to keep that promise. <laughs> The Guadal market is one of the largest and most important market centers in Nigeria. And for a very long time, we have all observed the poor conditions under which it has operated. It has grown so large that it has overflown into the major highway that runs through it and has become a traffic board letter and a safety hazard to both marketers and customers alike. This is no shelter for the elements and no sanitary facility for the men and women who sell their goods there. This is unfortunate situation can no longer be known. My administration has decided to address this situation in a timely manner. That's why our major resources and financial constraint so that we can bring some other relief to you, our gallant marketers. <laughs> That is why I am proud to build ground for this facility today. Work is to be done immediately. By tomorrow, you will see materials arriving on the site. <laughs> And by God's grace, the project will soon be completed. This is a promise I'm making to you today. And this is a promise I intend to keep. I listen to
told you that I will not fail you. You can see in all our sector, that's why there is difficulties because of the COVID-19. Our development plan did not stop. We continue to build the roads, to build the market, to give you the free school fees, and to do all that you wish for. Because we know this is our time, we were brought here to do the work of the Liberian people. So I thank God that He gave me the wisdom and the strength to work on every day to know that the reason I am here is not for me, neither my family. It's for the Liberian people that I say I love. Today is a true manifestation. This Dwala market. That all of us that live in the vicinity know the story of Dwala market. I live in Konawas. I live in Yukutan uh, uh, here. I spent my entire life, some of my life here in Yukutan. We know about this place. But again, to a point of time, it has to change. And this is why we are here today to give a face. We want to give the market a face lift. So the people going to the street will no longer go to the street. So I am happy, I'm excited. I want to thank our partners and always answer our call for our people. This is no politics. You can see here today, development breeds every citizen in the nation. In this market, there will be citizen, there will be United Partisans, there will be United Partisans. So we think for our people, not for politics. I said to you the other day, it's time for politics, it's time for politics. If politics will be the order of the day, Liberia will never be developed. Let us change our mythology of doing things. I am a simple man, a kid from the ghetto, I want to see my friends and my citizens to think about the future, what they can do for this country. And I saw so many young people that inspired to be leaders of the country, they are rushing. And I want to leave a legacy that young people will follow. I want to be the first to make sure that Liberia come to a point where when foreigners come here they know that they're in a country we are the oldest independent african state we don't even have a playground for our children a playground must be built i said to you all the last time that i'm for today that my desire is to build a medical hospital because our army is in Mali, when they are in here, they go to different countries. No one believe me. Today, you can see the 14th major hospital. It's the hospital that are doing the best in the COVID-19. I know most of you, you laugh when I speak. But I can guarantee you, you can laugh all you want to laugh. But I know what I'm here for, and I know what I can do. I remember when you told me that it was not possible. But only God can determine what is possible and what is not possible. I made it, and I defy all odds when I was leaving this country. You told me it is impossible, and I told you there's 
nothing that is impossible when you put your mind and you put the work into it. Tell you that shape that you repose in me, I'm going to put my mind, body, and soul. So when I leave, you will see tangibles. I again want to thank Percy. Percy, the people of Duala, who are new to town, help Percy and the contractor so you can see this project into fruition. So tomorrow, you will know that when Bakugbe for the project the man we are say something to you, he means it. And let me not shy away from what is going on. We are about to go to elections. This is your government you put in power. You repose confidence in us. We are coming to you for more votes in the Senate and in the House of Rep. The only way your projects and your aspirations and desire can be met is when you get people alike with like minds that think the same way that go in the same directions. When, when you don't have those people, it becomes difficult. And I just want to tell you, there's also proposed referendum uh, materials. It is good for you, Liberian people. It is not for me. It is not for me because I have traveled the entire world and I've seen it all. The referendum is good for you because some of you have children out of this country. Your children cannot be a foreigner. As a Liberian, imagine George Manuel Jr., somebody says he's a foreigner, he can come back to Liberia and become a citizen. Think about it. Your children need to come home. Some of them are successful, but they don't have ownership. So the referendum is there, it's a proposed one to you. Make that happen. Let all of us have the right to be what we want to be. We can be Liberians and also be another citizen. There's nothing wrong with that. Around the world, it's happening. This country is the oldest independent African state. We cannot be hostage. We must have our own value and also have the possibility to become what we want to be. The years of this United is gone. There is no more the Congo of the native. We are all Liberians. There is no more old. I live in the United States. I am a citizen. We are all citizens of the world and we are citizens of our country. So think about it and make sure the referendum works for you. And God bless you. And remember to pray for your leaders. Because when you pray for your leaders, your country survive and develop. All the best. Thank you.